All right, folks, we're going to do the Cataract Gorge Walk today. It's uh, a short one, just up to Duck Reach. I'll try and get as much footage as possible, but uh, there's a lot of people here, so you've got to be careful about taking footage. But further up, I'll take as much as I can. All right, cheers. Hope you enjoy. Perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm in your way. This is uh, Cataract Gorge of Launceston. The start of the walk. Here we go. Next stop, the bridge. It's just a short walk around. Five minutes from the centre. People swimming down there. I live in Launceston, so I've been down there myself. A good swim in there. Bring you up to the bridge, give you a look. We're going to continue up that track up there. I've had a swim down there before. And look at this. left I've only got 34% battery so I'm trying to uh, capture how beautiful Launceston is in this spot. Really taken for granted until you get a bit older.
really fantastic views here but I've got to try and save battery at the moment so sorry if the clips are a bit short but it's uh, a beautiful day for it already got a sweater great walk to do after work See the bridge yet? It's all the way up around this corner, I think, just around there. This is a lovely little viewing platform. It's scary. Very scary out there folks. Well, we better push on. There's a little park here. See it's a Lions Club. Alright, let's see how far it is to the next bridge. 20 minutes. 20 minutes steep track. Alright, All right. we can just see the bridge all the way down there. Juicy view, look at that. So we'll head on around to the bridge. I'll go over to the other side, check out the station, and then uh, we'll head back. Head back the way we can, because uh, this is just a short walk. I just wanted to document how beautiful it is. So, five minutes out of the winter of Launceston. So, you know, five minutes, folks, and that's no lie. Less than five minutes with good traffic. So, uh, goes to show you. How beautiful Tasmania is. I think this walk is only a very short one, would only be probably the very maximum 3k. Maybe, maybe 6, I don't know, probably it's only 3 though. Alright, here we go. I guess this is where it gets steep.
That's okay, look at that view. changed the name of my YouTube channel to, to Tom's Tassie Trekking and Adventures I think I changed it to so look me up or if you're watching this like and subscribe and I'll be putting plenty more videos up this year of myself walking some of Tasmania's greatest walks and mountains Hill going down, but it's not far. I'll tell you a funny story. When I was about 18, 19 years old, I got very drunk one night and uh, partied with a couple of friends up here and actually woke up in the middle of this bridge down here sleeping in the middle of the night with no shirt. It's wild times in Tasmania, folks. Wild times in Tasmania. Crazy, crazy but fun times. We'll go over the other side and have a look here, and then head on back. Yeah, good, thanks. The other way. <laughs> oh, good. Couple of puppy dogs on this road. Well, that's fantastic. We've got 21% battery left, so I should be able to get some good footage here. Show you when the old power shed across over there. Oh, we might go down there and have a look at the way down. All the flats all the way up here to this bridge. 1929. All the way nearly touching the bridge. Incredible. I think we'll go down there and not even have a swim. How about that folks? Look at that 
folks. You can see up the hill up there where the water would come in. That's where the track is. It goes all the way up there, but I'm not doing, I, I did plan on doing that tonight, but with 22% uh, battery, I won't be able to do this justice. So, people down there swimming. You can imagine the water just being below me. That's how far. 1929 floods were all the way up there, you know, it's crazy. inside one of the, the old sheds for the power station. Must be a big old generator or a big old wheel or some sort. Flying Fox. video recording in there. It's been a long time. It's been a hell of a long time since I've, uh, well, I must have been here a little while, but it's been 10 years since I've been here, so that's new to me, that recording in there. There's a car park all the way up here, if you want to drive a bit closer just to get here, but the walk makes it uh, worth the, makes it worth it. Engineering and science. Look at the big old pipes going up there. That's where you walk all the way out there. It's quite steep, but it's enjoyable. Done that one before. Beautiful big old building. Will most likely be here forever. The final hurdle of the Duckbridge power scheme was transmitting the electricity generated at the station into the city. The old pipes 
still connected up there, pretty awesome, eh? Here's a better picture of the floods. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, Duck Ridge, Duck Ridge Power Station. Another little adventure done. I can tick off the list. Just uh, showing you the beautiful parts of Tasmania. Well worth it. Bring a sandwich up here on your walk. Beautiful. And that's where you go for the walk. Pretty cool. All right, so I think I, I think I'll take you down right down here. Might as well while I'm here. I'm not doing the long walk, so we might as well explore the short one, huh? Hey? Every little nook and cranny. A little bit sore today to tell you the truth. I did two mountains yesterday, Mount Direction, and uh, gee, one just out of Scottsdale, Tasmania, um, Mount Stratic. Strat, uh, God, I can't remember. It'll be on my YouTube channel. Bridge right above me now. Come a couple of walkers down the track uh, above the power station. Very nice. We'll go down here and have a look, I think. May even grab some rocks for my daughter Maggie to paint for my next uh, mountains that I climb. The bridge is right above me. Yeah, some old, uh, old cables down here. They're not, not too much of interest, but still pretty cool. Alright. Let's get down here if I'm, we can see any of our famous Tassie eels in the water. Very nice. I'm on 14% battery now, and I think it's about time I start heading back. What do you think? There's the old power station over there in the background. I'm right above the bridge. There it is up there. All right. Well, until next time, folks. Uh, I'll uh, catch you on the next exciting adventure, the next exciting instalment. House of Serenity, that's all I can say.
faithful. Just, I've just collected some uh, rocks for my daughter and uh, for her to paint on my next mountain adventure. I, as uh, if you're new to the channel, I leave a rock, a painted rock, uh, at the top of every mountain I climb from my daughter Maggie. She paints them up and sometimes puts a little message on them. So, uh, yeah, I've just collected some rocks from down here by the river. Always makes it a little bit harder getting back at the end of that walk, you know, with my backpack uh, filled with rocks, but uh, it is what it is, and you, you get that on the big jobs. Alright folks, signing off from Duck Reach, Tasmania. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.